For the Mola Art Project, you will need some colorful paper, scissors, glue, and crayons or markers. If you don't have construction paper or colored paper to cut out, you could always use blank paper and just color it with markers or crayons, or you can draw your design. So once again, if you don't have construction paper, you can always draw this project. For your first step, you are going to choose your main background color. I went with black, and this is the page that we are gluing everything to. Now I'm going to pick my first color, and this is going to be the color that I draw my animal on. You want your animal to be pretty big so that it takes up most of your background paper. In the Google Slides that I have attached, I have provided different silhouettes of animals, so pick a simple outline and that is what you are drawing right now. You're not adding details like, an, like eyes or fins and things like that, you are just drawing the outline. Now we're going to cut out that animal nice and neat and we are then going to pick our next color. So our goal is to create that layered look of colors like we see in the molas. So this next color is going to be added to our animal. And all you have to do is glue your animal to that colored piece of paper. So I'm taking my fish and I'm just sticking it on to the blue piece of paper. Once it's glued down neatly, I am going to then cut out my animal again, but I'm going to leave a bit of a blue border. So this is how we're getting that layered look. Now I want you to pick another color and repeat the same process. So we're just gluing down our fish, which now is a little bit bigger since we've added the blue, and I'm going to cut it out again, leaving a bit of a yellow border. So this is basically creating more and more layers. You can add as many layers as you want around your animal, but I'm just going to stick with two. Once you have your layers completed, you can glue your animal to the middle of your background paper. Make sure it's glued down nice and good and it doesn't have any little edges sticking up. This next part, I'm cutting out different colors of paper to create a mola design in my background. Remember, this type of artwork uses really simple shapes because it's done using fabric. So try to stick with geometric shapes and lines. That's why I'm just doing these lines and rectangular shapes in my background. I'm also trying to use similar colors. So there were lots of reds, oranges, pinks, and even a little bit of blues and greens. It's pretty much up to you how you want to create your design in the background, but I want you to really fill up all of that negative space. So I don't want to see a lot of empty space. I want to see shapes, lines, and bright colors all throughout your piece. Once you're happy with your layout, you can glue all of your pieces down. And then we are going to add even more design using crayons, colored pencils, or markers, depending on what you have. The designs inside of the animals almost represent a skeletal system, or they look like a skeleton. So I'm outlining parts of my fish, and then I'm going in and I'm adding more basic shapes, and I'm using a lot of color. So you can design the inside of your animal however you like, but keep it colorful and geometric. Once you've finished your animal, you're gonna go into your background and decorate it with more lines and shapes. You want it to look like it was made out of fabric, just like the molas were. So I actually go in and I add some little dashed lines to represent stitching. I also fill in all of that extra negative space around my fish. So I just kind of follow the shape of it and create these random abstract shapes. 
Once you're done with your MOLA-inspired artwork, please take a photo and turn it into the Google Classroom.